all things. Likewise, wa aslih li dunyaya and rectify for me my worldly affairs. And rectify for me my hereafter, which is my point of return. Do not be like those people who are only worried about the dunya. They only care about the dunya, what cars that they drive or how they look in the eyes of the people. What they have and what they don't have. Chasing after this world, hub and shadida, because they're infatuated with it. And they only worry about the dunya, la. Rather, the believer, he asks Allah Azza wa Jal, Allahumma aslih li dini, alladhi huwa ismatu amri, wa aslih li dunyaya, allati fiha ma'ashi, wa aslih li akhirati, allati fiha ma'adi. Because those individuals who only worried about the dunya, Allah Azza wa Jal, tells us about them in the Quran. Allah tells us about them in the Quran. Those people that only care about the dunya and they do not care about the religion. Allah said, subhanahu wa ta'ala, فَمِنَ النَّاسِ مَنْ يَقُولُ Amongst the people you have those who say, رَبَّنَا آتِنَا فِي الدُّنْيَا Oh Allah, give us from this world. وَمَا لَهُ فِي الْآخِرَةِ مِنْ خَلَاقِ And they have no share of the hereafter. Subhanallah. All they care about is the dunya. They don't care about the religion. They don't care about it. They're upon shirk. As for the believers, the muahidun, the people of a tawheed, what do they say? They say, as Allah Azza wa tells us, وَمِنْهُمْ مَنْ يَقُونَ And from amongst them there are those who say, from amongst the people at that time, Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana. Oh Allah, give us good in this world. Wa fil akhirati hasana. And give us good in the hereafter. And that matters most. Wa qina adab al nar. And save us from the punishment of the hellfire. So in the dua it comes. Wa aslih li sha'ni kullahu. And rectify for me, O oh Allah, my entire affair. La ilaha illa anta. None has the right to be worshipped except you. Again, look, sisters, at Tawheed. Going back to what we've said in nearly every dars, every single dars, that the basis of happiness, the foundation of happiness is what? Is a Tawheed. The foundation of happiness, the basis of happiness is Tawheed. As Allah Azza wa Jalla said in the Quran, وَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ مِنَ الصَّالِحَاتِ Whoever does righteous deeds, مِنْ ذَكَرٍ أَوْ أُنْثَى And whether they are male or female, وَهُوَ مُؤْمِنْ And they are a believer, they are a muwahid, a person of Tawheed, what is the reward for them? فَأُولَٰئِكَ يَدْخُلُونَ الْجَنَّةَ these individuals will enter paradise and not the least injustice, even the size of a speck on the back of a date stone will be, yani will touch them. Tawheed. Allah Azza wa tells us in Surah An-Nahl, مَنْ عَمِرَ صَالِحًا مِنْ ذَكَرٍ أَوْ أُنْثَى Whoever does righteous deeds, whether they are male or female, وَهُوَ مُؤْمِنٍ And they are a believer, they are a muwahid upon Tawheed. What? فَلَنُحْيَنَّهُ حَيَاةً طَيِّبًا We will give them a happy, pleasant life. That's in this life. Naam. A happy, pleasant life. وَلَنَجْزِيَنَّهُمْ أَجْرَهُمْ بِأَحْسَنِ مَا كَانُوا يَعْمَلُونَ And we shall reward them in a proportion to the best of what they used to do. يعني in the hereafter. Subhanallah, look at the reward في الدنيا for the people of Tawheed and in the hereafter for the people of Tawheed. In this life, Allah promises what? A happy life. A nice life. A pleasant life. And in the hereafter, a great reward. 
sisters, no one will ever taste ladha, pleasure, except with tawheed. No one will ever taste true happiness except with a tawheed. Nobody, nobody will taste yani, joy or delight illa bit tawheed. And that is why we find in this dua, La ilaha illa anta, the dua to remove what? Distress and difficulty. None has the right to be worshipped except you. ثم ذكر كلمة التوحيد لا إله إلا أنت أي لا معبود بحق سواك None has the right to be worshipped except you. لا يلتجأ إلا إليك. Refuge is only sought with you. لا يعتمد إلا عليك. We do not depend except upon you. لا يتوكل إلا عليك. Reliance is not placed except in you, Allah Azza wa Jal. All affairs are entrusted to you. لا إله إلا أنت. None has the right to be worshipped except you. فهذه يعني فهذا من الأمور التي يعاد يعالج بها. These are some of the things that the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم taught us to say in order to what? In order to address our this the distress and the difficulty that we may be experiencing and in this lies a cure in in this lies a treatment and in this lies the medicine that is why we need to learn our religion and we need to act upon ilm knowledge it comes before speech and action in everything so when we're tested we should say how do i deal with this that's the first question do I start using vulgar language? No, you don't. Do I start telling people about, you know, how I used to deal with things? No. How do you deal with things? The first thing is what? Having knowledge. I'm in a difficult time. I'm experiencing some difficulties. These are hard times. Without, yeah, addressing them. It's clear, alhamdulillah. The Prophet, sallallahu alhamdulillah, and all praise is due to Allah subhanahu Inshallah ta'ala we can take this bi Allah ta'ala when he was yani when he supplicated from within the belly of the large fish and some people translate it as the whale na'am his supplication was la ilaha illa anta none has the right to be worshipped except you Subhanaka, exalted are you, O Allah, and free of any imperfections. Inni kuntu min al I was from amongst the wrongdoers. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the Prophet alayhi salatu wa sallam, he said, in regards to anything, Regarding anything except that Allah Azza will answer his supplication. Except that Allah will answer his supplication. Now remember, let's try and set, look at the level of distress and the difficulty which befell him. He was swallowed by the whale. And the whale had taken him down to the depths of the ocean. وَدَخَلَ بِهِ فِي أَعْمَاقِ الْبَحَرِ the whale had taken him to the depth of the ocean. Under هذا القرب. Look at this difficulty, this extreme difficulty. في بطن الحوت. In the stomach of the whale. Like I said, how would we respond? How would we react? How would we behave? In the darkness of the ocean. Musiba Adima. We can't even imagine it. We can't even imagine it properly. Because we've never been in that situation. How did he respond? How did he respond? He started to say and repeat these words. La ilaha illa anta subhanaka. None has the right to be worshipped except you. 
Glory be unto you and you are far and free of any imperfections. Inni kuntu min I have been from the wrongdoers. Subhanallah. Wa huwa fi dhulumat And he's in darkness. Yunadi. And he's making this dua in darkness. In the darkness of the stomach. The belly of the whale. And in the darkness of the ocean. And in the darkness of the light. That's iman. That is iman. That is patience. That is tawakkul. That is aqeedah. Huwa fi a'maq al-bahar. He's in the depths of the ocean. And he's saying, yuraddid hadhi al-kalimat. La ilaha illa anta. None has the right to be worshipped except you. Subhanaka inni kuntu min al-zalimin. Hadhi da'watu dhinnun. This was the supplication of Yunus. إِذْ دَعَى بِهَا فِي بَطْنِ الْحُوتِ And this is what he supplicated with when he was in the stomach or the belly of the whale. كَانَ يُكَرِّرُهَا فَأَذِنَ اللَّهُ عَزَّ وَجَلِّ الْحُوتِ وَأَمَرَهَا أَن تُلْقِيَهُ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala He gave permission to the fish and commanded the, the whale to release him. To release Yunus subhanallah. Allah azza wa has control over everything. Allah Azza wa Jal has control over everything. There is nothing easy except Allah made it easy. There is nothing hard except Allah made it hard. Allah Azza wa Jal commanded the whale to spit him out, to let him go, to release him. Subhanallah, undri lahadha. Look at that. Look from that difficulty and no doubt. No doubt that's a clear example that when a person places their trust in Allah Azza wa Jal, relies upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that with difficulty there is ease. With difficulty, there is ease. فَإِنَّمَا الْعُسْرِ يُسْرَى Verily, with hardship, with difficulty, there is ease. إِنَّمَا الْعُسْرِ يُسْرَى With difficulty, there is ease. And there is no sahal, there is nothing easy, except that Allah made it easy. لَكِنْ هَذِهِ الدَّعْوَ الْمُبَارَكَةِ this blessed supplication that Yunus he said, وَهُوَ يَثِقُ بِاللَّهِ And he had total reliance in Allah Azza wa Jal. وَيَعْتَمِدْ عَلَى اللَّهِ And he depended upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he saw refuge with Allah Azza wa Jal. وَيَعْلَمْ And he was certain, he had certain knowledge that the only way for him to escape this situation, this difficulty, this distressful time, all of this was in the control of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala biyadillahi subhanahu wa ta'ala. All of this was in the control, was controlled by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He was certain that the relief from this grief, this difficulty was يعني, in the control of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So therefore this kalima, this statement, this dua tadammanat umuran arba'a. It contains four things this supplication it contains yani four things al amr al awwal the first at tawhid la ilaha illa ant none has the right to be worshiped except you tawhid of allah naam tawhid allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the tawhid of allah azza wa jal al amr al thani Tanzihullah. The second matter, freeing Allah from all imperfection. When you say Subhanaka, glorified is Allah and free of all imperfection. Wa ma'na Subhanak, yani unazihuka, ya Allah, an kulli ma la yaliku bika. And the meaning of Subhanaka is, I absolve you, I free you, O oh Allah, from everything which does not befit you. And I free you of all deficiencies and defects. And I free you and absolve you from what the false describers have said concerning you from the enemies of the messengers 
and that which they describe you, what the enemies of, I, I absolve you from that which the enemies of the messengers describe you with. Subhana Rabbika, Rabbil Izzati Amma Yasir. The third thing, al i'tiraf bi dhulmi wa taqseer. Amin. Inni kuntu min al-zalimin. Inni kuntu min al-zalimin. I was from the wrong. Can we keep it? Allah Ta'ala. Naam. Inshallah, I'll leave that until the next daras and I'll go over it, inshallah, in detail. Bin Allah Ta'ala. Naam. these 10 things in a bit more detail from the words of Al-Imam ibn Al-Qayyim Rahimahullah Ta'ala Rahmatun Wasi'ah Naam A piece of encouragement for the sisters like I said, memorize these supplications, they're not difficult some of them are uh, a line or even sometimes less than a line we'll, uh, Allahu Allahu Rabbi La Ushriku Bihi Shay'a Here the supplication of Yunus La ilaha illa ant subhanaka inni kuntu min al I mean these are things that we can easily learn and they don't require a lot of effort and yani, alhamdulillah they're quite easy. Walillah alhamdulillah minna. Also Allahumma rahmataka arju. Oh Allah I hope only hope for your mercy. Again those supplications that we can memorize easy inshallah ta'ala. And it's important like I said because all of us are going to be tested. All of us are going to be sad. All of us are going to have difficult times. But we have to know how to deal with them, and that is why 